What if I tell you the two out of five in the reading fill in the blanks can be improved to five out of five within no time. All you need is the right strategies, understanding the traps, why you're making that mistakes. And once you understand it, scoring that five out of five becomes actually very easy. If you want to understand more about such things, then make sure you watch this video till the end. Hey everybody, Rakul from Skills PT Academic. Really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with yet another super awesome pop packed video on this reading fill in the blanks. If you're getting that 2 out of 5 or 3 out of 5 in every question and wondering how to improve to 5 out of 5 overnight means as quickly as possible, then trust me, this video is for you because I will be discussing in detail about the wrong approaches because of which the scores are less and the right approaches that you should just follow because of which the scores will be 5 out of 5. Before we get into the video, if you're not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and anytime you need online assistance, it's a paid assistance, you can check the information given in the description of this video. I'll be there, we will be there to help you guide you in the right direction. All right, without further delay, let's straight away get into the video. Let me just share my screen. Reading fill in the blanks. Two out of five. Jump to five out of five. Overnight improvement. Let's understand what we're going to learn in this video in the beginning. We will learn about the wrong strategies. Most important thing. And then we also understand the root cause of the problem. Basically, why people get two out of three and not five out of three. And also we understand more about the traps. Trap means... There would be something that attracts you, that entices you to pick and you pick it up, gone case. We'll understand uh, what are the traps that you're actually conclusively picking them up. And then we understand the right approaches, the strategies, grammar, collocation also I'll be talking in this video and some vocabulary aspect. It's going to be a little lengthy video, but a lot of people commented in many other videos saying they want me to come back from the trip <laughs> and make, you know, such... Um, um, I mean, the reading fill in the blanks video. So here I am, I came back from the trip and giving you all that is required. Let's quickly start talking about the wrong strategies, root cause of the problem and the trap. So I'm going to explain you this particular thing through an example. So let's quickly understand this. Don't do anything. Don't start doing it. Just observe for today. Just observe. So what a typical person would end up doing? when the person encounters such a question. Our quest to find answer to the origin of the life and the seemingly infinite universe is universe is transcended. Universe is anger. So the point what I am trying to tell you is it's such a lengthy question, correct? The blank comes probably after some 14, 15 words. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 words. That means you actually almost forgot what you read in the beginning and you're only focusing on the last phrase. A complete wrong approach. You're now only looking into this. Infinite universes. It is not infinite universes. It is not at all about universes. It is about our quest is. In English, what happens? My love is something. My love, my love for this person, this person and to that person, this, this, this is something. So in English, basically, our quest, blah, 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 you can add additional information the way you like it. But the ending is still the continuation of the beginning. Our quest to do something is, our quest means the search, is never stopped. We keep searching. Our quest is, now the collocation, our quest, this people don't see. What people end up doing are infinite universes. Same thing with a sense of. Now, hope you understood the first blank, the wrong approach, where you need to understand the acting noun. The acting noun is our quest, not the universe. This is a pure reading skill. If you're making this mistake, you stop it today, tomorrow you end up getting fight of five, but you have to stop it. That's exactly what I'm showing you. Read, make out what this blank is acting on. This blank is acted on our quest, not on the universe. It's a pure reading skill. Now that's one of the wrong approaches. Let's also talk about the second wrong approach. Albert Einstein departed. They, they don't read this. They directly come here. Albert Einstein departed with a sense of something. He departed with a sense of anger. Then understood. What is the clue? It could be sense of happiness. So 
this is a classic example where people express the lack of patience. They show to the software that they are the most impatient person in the entire universe. Because they don't want to read further. You read further, there is a clue. For being unable to cope up. This uh, no patience to read. I want answer here only. I will not read further. And how you expect the marks? Again, wrong approach. Because you have only limited knowledge and you are trying to solve something with that limited knowledge. You need adequate knowledge, sufficient knowledge to actually, you know, find the correct answer. Here you don't have it yet. That means you need to get the knowledge, acquire the knowledge. How? By being patient and read further, find the clues and then choose the correct answer. No. Second wrong approach. Now we will come here. He was, again, don't want to read further. It seems he was transcended. He was anger. Finish it off. After was, as per grammar, what has to come, I will put it. No, read. He was close. He is good. He was good. He was close. Adjective is already there. Adverb has to come. So basically, you are applying grammar in the wrong way. After is, was, ed has to come. My grammar videos have told. Or adjective has to come. And person will try, directly try to fit in. But already adjective or ed is given. This is adverb. Is a the most incomprehensible part of the universe is that it is comprehensible. Is a dash to the angst. Now people don't understand this. So what they do? They randomly select based on their intuition. Is a test, is a testimony, is a despair. Randomly choosing because they are not able to get what it is. Vocabulary problem. Remember, we talked about this particular thing where you don't focus on the acting now. You directly think this is the acting now, first problem. Second one, you don't read further, express or exhibit the lack of patience. Third one, applying wrong grammar. Fourth one, not even trying to understand what it is. Because it is little difficult. As a result, what you do? It's not my cup of tea. Select one and move on. Dash two is a collocation. Dash to the angst he was experiencing. We will see how to do it. Eventually made way for something that that could be easy because I've told grammar after something that after that verb has to come. So here transcended is the only verb. Probably people select transcended. But there's one more problem. Remember we already talked about four wrong approaches. Again I'll repeat. First is you don't find the correct acting noun. Second is you ex exhibit lack of patience. Third is applying wrong grammar. And the fourth is you don't understand as a result, you just give up. The fifth is, fifth is actually easy, but what happens? The fifth comes in the end. By that time, already wrong answers have been selected. Here, transcended has to come. Pay more attention very clearly. But transcended is already selected over here. So what this, you know, Albert Einstein's brain of ours think, hey, this is over. And it doesn't even look into the right option. Because already this is selected before. Means locking the option. You selected and locked thinking it is perfect. But what you selected was completely wrong. Hope you are getting it. This is the fifth wrong thing because of which you always end up getting two out of five. This could be a very simple example. But this is enough to show you what mistakes you're doing. Getting it, so now transcended is actually easy, but transcended you already selected to the first one. As a result, you think this is over and you try to see the possibility of other answers, other options fitting in. No other is fitting in. Time waste. Randomly select one and move on. Isn't it? So these are the classic mistakes, the wrong things because of which you get two out of five. We'll take one more example. And I prove you why you get 2 out of 5 or 3 out of 5. And then we will see step by step procedure as to how to get to that 5 out of 5. Each of us, again, let's try to apply similar strategy, a wrong strategy, five wrong strategies that I talked about over here as well. It's, it's the repetition of the wrong things that lead to a bigger wrong thing called zero. Hope you're getting it. Each of us has a unique voice that is our... Now, voice is there, unique voice, that is our exact signature. That is our 
that's it people end up choosing exact signature so this is another mistake why this happens because this exact is a matching pay more attention it's a sixth mistake this is matching well and this is at the beginning easily available to the eyes if that someone you know you're looking for is 100 meters away from you it is difficult to find him but if that person is right over here you're gonna catch him correct yes or no so here exact you're gonna start looking into the answers from left to right you find this exact at the very beginning and it is matching it is like a hey, correct answer exact signature matching it's oral signature man it's voice orally so it could be right next to it but you fail to recognize it because you already think but you think you already found the correct answer because this is written at the beginning or exact could be here oral could be end again you choose exact because from the left to right from the top to bottom you keep checking if this is matching and you just go with it remember all these are the golden things if you stop making such mistakes things will fall in place why is this the what Voice is the wheel. Again, the similar mistake. Wheel is fitting after the noun should come, but voice is the instrument is also fitting. Again, you exhibit lack of patience. Through which we, through which we walk, we converse. If I had written walk first and converse in the end, 90% of the people would have simply written walk. The voice is which with which we walk. A leg is what using which we walk. Voice is which with which we converse, conversation. Correct? As an instrument like any other, one can learn to play it well with dash on. Now 90% of the people write, again, see most of the blank for this relies on the wrong approach that people just choose what lies right in front of them. Volume rise right in front of them. With volume on tempo, just go with it. Focus on, uh, correct, emphasis, speed, speed is there, I'll go with walk. Correct? So wrong thing, so now hope you have gotten an idea of where all people could go wrong so now we understand the right approaches it needs patience it needs maturity it needs consciousness and strategies approaches english grammar collocation and many other things you can teach all other things but common sense you cannot teach correct maturity you cannot teach maturity has has to be learned on its own so now the next part of it we understand the right approaches for this all right, so let's understand the right approaches. How to do it? First thing is, hey, find the clues, man. Become that police officer who doesn't rely on what his art says. Correct? His art may say, this is the killer, but his brain will ask him, find the clues, find the evidence. Isn't it? Find the clues. Logically, it should fit in. Apply grammar and see if it works. Check the collocations and see if that works. So basically, these three are the things that one should keep in mind and also you should keep in mind the wrong things that I just told the five wrong things I don't need I mean I don't think there is a need to show you all over again I told you five things over here and one thing over here you remember if it is very closer to your eyes you select otherwise you don't and here wrong strategy you don't find the clues and lot many things I already told all these things you should keep in mind along with these three Find the clues, apply grammar, check collocations. Find the clues, apply grammar, check collocations. Because you want that 5 out of 5. For how long you stay at that 2 out of 5 or 3 out of 5? It requires a bit of effort. Definitely, yes. You put that effort today, tomorrow you will see the result. You don't put that effort today, then probably it may, you know, again, go far away from you. So let's understand that and try to solve the first two questions. Find the clues. Check grammar, check for collocation. The first one, find the clues. How to find the clues? Our quest is what? That's the clue. We found this is the clue that is given. Now check for grammar. After E is anything can come. ED can come, adjective can come. ED is there. There are many adjectives here. Insatiable, the insatiable is an adjective. Um, the many adjectives, so I'm getting confused. What do I do? I check if there are collocations. Our quest is never satisfied. That is insatiable. Hope you are getting it. And we also made sure. We will simply not, infinite universes, we will not do it. We don't exhibit the lack of patience. We will start finding the acting noun. Find the clues. Check grammar. And check allocations. And we grab the correct answer. It requires a bit of patience. A bit of maturity. That's it.
you do this overnight 100 percent fat of five possible we will come here departed with a sense of few things few traps will tease you will entice you to pick sense of test sense of anger read further sense of something for being unable to come up with the theory of everything that could provide some agreement consensus means agreement between his theory of relativity blah blah he was unable to come up with a theory he is not able to do something i'm angry you will not be angry if you are not able to do something you will be frustrated you will be hopeless what happened here this is despair now we understood because we know the meaning of despair that's also important and despair is hopelessness and unable to come up with is not anger is not test it's despair you find the clothes be patient definitely five to five for every question is possible now we will come here he was he was he was he was close already adjective is that he was good he was extremely good he was close he was adverb has to come this is adjective before adjective or after adjective adverb addition to an adjective is adverb adverb ends in ly hope you are getting it tantalizingly close done and dusted that it is comprehensible is difficult to make out totally understood is a big statement the most incomprehensible part of the universe is that it is comprehensible not understanding anything finding the clue gone case but check grammar and collocations so don't give up is ye after ye after uh, what has to come noun should come testimony is a noun theories is a plural noun cannot come the taste but you don't say ye taste taste you cannot count cannot come an anger not ye anger this is transcended as a verb so nothing else is fitting in so now we check the grammar we found out is a testimony to this is the only thing that fits in the testimony a testimony check allocations dash to testimony to example to guys getting it now we did not lose the hope because it was so difficult to understand we did not give up we continued checking the other parts like grammar and collocation one of them helped us done and dusted bingo and we move on something that now if you had put all the things correctly then you know verb has to come transcended verb is the only verb that is left if you made a mistake then probably this verb you would have chosen to some other blank you did not do that because you followed the right approach now this is five it's as simple as that don't worry i'm going to give you some uh, five questions today to do it and i'll hint you about the wrong approaches like i told you it's going to be a little lengthy but it's worth every second or millisecond or microsecond or nanosecond you spend on this video that i can promise you all right so this is the answer first is insatiable insatiable second is despair tantalizingly testimony to the transcended both means came across both transcended is to go beyond it beyond something all right so similar thing we will try to do for the second one and then i'll give a test for you to see if you patiently do it applying all the approaches the wrong thing right thing that i talked about each of us has a unique voice 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 is the clue that is our style signature voice is oral not exact the voice is the medium through which is the instrument through which voice to which we talk we converse conversation is a noun to converse is a verb with dash on you need to focus on tempo timber tone emphasis speed when you're talking you need to focus on the tempo the timber the tone the emphasis the speed with which we speak and the volume the volume increasing so a lot of things this is also clue based perfect sense so this way when you do you start getting fight or fight and the best part is you actually enjoy doing it if i keep on getting two out of five three out of five for every question i totally understand because i have done all these things when i get low score it's a kind of demotivation right you don't feel like solving it again you feel like seeking shortcuts you feel like giving up throwing your hair hands up like this in despair with the right approach right strategy you actually become confident because you see that five to five every time or at least four out of five if not five to five give it a thought 
I have now first half of the video is done, but I have explained you on basically what are the traps, how to escape them, escape from them and how to apply the right things. So now I've got four questions, not five. After each question, probably I'll add a timer of two and a half minute. After two and a half minute, I'll be coming back and showing you what mistakes you're doing and help you understand the right things. So we already talked about it. So remember, find the clues, apply grammar check allocations. Don't randomly select something. Find the acting noun. Don't simply believe, okay, there is a blank, here is a noun, this is the one acting, it could be a, you know, away from it. And don't just choose something that's at the front. It may be, it may not be, take your time. Find the clues after a blank for most of the answers. The clue resides after a blank, not before a blank. You need to continue. Exhibit that patience, exhibit that maturity. And don't lock the options. Even if you select something, if you're damn sure also, don't lock it. Keep it open. When you come to the last blank, just think, oh, the first blank answer could fit in. I may be wrong. All these things, put it here, man, and see why you cannot get fired to five. Well, today's question is a bit difficult. All right, so let's start the very first question. I'm going to add a timer of two and a half minutes on my bottom right. Here you go. All right, so a few of them you may have solved it. I'm not sure if I'd given this before as well. If you've done it, it's totally fine, but try doing it with the approach. But many questions we have created completely new. Okay, companies argue there, dash R. So the clue says R, 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 R. They are, their cars are, not car R, car is, cars, plural has to come. Plural noun, that's the clue, 100% it is a plural noun. Product cannot come, but many have chosen product. In, in my live class, usually I ask, how many of you got product? Raise your hand. Now I cannot ask this, but do leave a comment. A comment in the comment section if you have chosen product. It means you are not applying the right things. You are falling for it. Right grammar you know, but still you are falling for it. This is not here. This is somewhere. Eight is a noun. The aid, help, formulations. 
Aids are clearly labeled. No, no, no. What this product contains? This contains one gram of sugar, one gram of carbohydrates. Formulations are labeled. Give it a thought. The next one. That formulations are labeled. That customers make dash choices. If everything is labeled, customer before buying the product will read everything and make a well thought decision. Dash choices. This is a collocation. Dash decision. Well thought decision, well thought choice or informed choice. Informed choices, informed means this is, you are actually putting all the things to this and then thinking and then deciding. But for decades, they have been advertised as something to, now people are stuck here, advertised as, 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 what, 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 read, 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 read further. Advertised as something to stronger, taller, smarter grown. They have been advertised as something that helps to become stronger, taller, smarter. So somewhere helps is fitting in, described or advertised as aids to, it aids to do this. Hope you are getting it. Aids to stronger. But many would have written, advertised as become to stronger. They are advertised as become, is not fitting in man. That's what. So, during such cases, you have to put every word and just check it out if that demands from you. Don't rely on the intuition. This is a classic mistake where third one, ninety-five percent of the people write wrong. Ban on, ban on using helmet. Ban on eating this. Ban on using ing will come. You just put randomly any word. After ban on something, ing will come. Government ban on dash of food and milk substitutes. Advertisement of or advertising of. Because the entire thing is about advertisements, isn't it? Government ban. Government has banned on advertising of infant milk and milk substitutes for babies less than 24 months old. Dash these products growth. Now growth is the clue. When you ban something and the company is still producing it, you banned it. What is going to happen? Dash stopped these products growth in the country promoting natural milk and home food it stopped now i put the word stopped it's a verb verb to curtailed so basically i'm reading with the logic understanding enjoying and try to put a you know question mark as to what it can be because it's growth it has dash these products are growth banned or stopped the growth curtail means to stop not a very difficult one. You give some work to this Albert Einstein's brain of yours. Automatically things will fall in place. Trust me on this. Just enjoy and learn. Don't make the face like this and learn. It's not going to be productive enough. Formulations, informed choices, as it's advertising curtailed. Keep a track of the mistakes that you have done. In the end, we will count as to how much you have got. We go to the next question. Keep a track of the mistakes that you have done. I am going to add a timer of three minutes for this. A tricky one. I am telling you, whenever you have a doubt, another approach, leave it empty. Leave it empty. Leave it empty. Trust me, one and three people interchanged. One, two, three, full of interchanging will happen. At the end of the day, you need to exhibit that patience, understand the things, find the logic, find the close, and then choose. The word key goes with a particular word. If you select this, then one of the traps you escaped. Then two traps are there. It hoped after the what should come, after a what should come. A something, the something that you already know. That means the something is already discussed here. You got to think, you got to apply the things. This is easy, this is easy. It's basically one and three. If you find the correct one, you are a jack. You will get fired off. Otherwise, two out of five, hundred percent confirmed, done and dusted. Let's start three minute timer. Here you go.
All right. I really hope you have spent a quality time of yours to understand the right things here. A dash to make after A, what has to come? Noun should come. A building. A building to make the highlands a major European hub. A building to make something hub is not making sense. A scenery to make a move to make highlands something, a hub for the development. A bid, a forecast, a landmark. So many things will go. Now a grammar is not going to help. Collocations we will see. A dash, we will leave it empty. Because at this moment, we are not sure what exactly is the answer. And we have very limited data as well. So we hold on and continue. A dash to make some place a major European hub for the development of the offshore wind industry. This place, I want to make it an epicenter for the wind industry, renewable energy sector. Dash, now, acting noun is this dash. Dash has reached a key, a key achievement, a key landmark. Guys, getting it, something has reached a key landmark means they have done something. What is that something? We will see. Legislation has been completed establishing the tax site. Some rules, regulation, government things are all done for the creation of the Inverness and some company. Something has been completed. It is hoped the dash. The dash means something which is already done. This legislation which is completed, that you need to put. It is hoped the forecast. They are not forecasting. Forecasting means predicting the future. The building, they have not yet constructed the building. Scenery, no. The move. What is the move? To bring out the legislation for some tax. The move, the decision. Guess getting it? He moved here. That is verb. The move. He has made a move. A move. Guess getting it? This is three. If you understand this is three, then first is very easy. We will continue here. Due to a number of tax benefits and other here benefits, here also, yes. This is called rule of parallelism. Benefits, tax benefits and other perks, other advantages, perks, advantages, incentives. The free port has dash, continue. Don't simply write it has scenery. It has bead. After has, verb 3 has to come. He has cars. Now one can also come, boss. What is the best way to do it? Exhibit that patience and continue reading. The free port has something that it will lead to the creation of more than and attract more than fresh investment. It will, 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 future, future, future means it's all predictions. It has some data. It has some forecast. Just getting it, this is five. Very sorry, it's key landmark is two. Apologies. Key landmark. Okay, I think I've just made it all messy. Key landmark is two. This is going to be five. The move is three. This is four. A dash to make. A building to make. A scenery to make. A bid. What's a bid? Make a bid. Ask for investors. Invite the investors. Auctions. Whatever. A bid to make. Something the epicenter or the development hub for this energy sector has reached a milestone, key landmark. Because the tax thing, that thing has all been completed, means this move has attracted more people in terms of tax benefits and incentives. And also this Freeport company, ICFGF, has some data, has some prediction data, has some forecast. Hope you are getting it. Means it contains it has forecast, means it contains the forecast. Not a very tricky one, but like I told you, the first and third, just write, be patient, find the close, show that maturity, have 100%. Five to five is your making. Two out of five is also your making. Five to five is also your making, but this time you're more conscious. All right, we go to the next one. Try to learn from the mistakes that you've done. Keep a track of the mistakes that you've done. I'm going to add. This is a very simple one. Three minute timer for this. Once three minutes is done, I'm going to come back and show you how to do it. Let's start.
All right, I really hope you have done it. The US and food of FDA has issued, you issue water. This issue is the main ingredient here. Has issued its highest level. Has issued warning about, warning is not there. Heart pump that has been linked to 14 and this, it has issued its highest level. You be alert, alert, alert. That's the closest one. Not summary, not classified. If you're getting confused, leave it empty. Many would have written classified or president probably summary. It's okay to make mistakes as long as you decide, okay, this could be wrong. Later point of time, I can still use that particular option. Don't lock them. Meaning, let's say you selected summary for the first one. Let's see how to do it. If dash correctly, the regulator warned it could puncture, puncture a wall in the ventricle. If you use it incorrectly, use incorrectly is a collocation. No other thing can come if used incorrectly. A dash posted on the website. What can be posted on the website? A classified is posted. No. If you continue further, dash the move as, 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 as. You classify them as. Hope you're getting it. Read further as is there. Classify them as. Classify is four, then what is three? What can be posted? A news can be posted. A delicacy means some food. <laughs> president can be posted. Huh? A president posted on. President will post his face. Huh? His face. No. A summary is posted. Now summary becomes three. I did not think summary is already done it cannot come to third no because i had limited data when i did the first one now i realized summary goes for third one correctly so first one is not summary first one is alert this is how you do it make mistakes it's okay falling down is definitely acceptable it's like falling for a girl but if that girl is not accepting you then you have to stand and look for other girls isn't it but you are still falling completely into it doesn't make any sense isn't it? That's what you need to learn. All right, may, maybe a bad example. Sorry on that. Let's continue. The agency warned that use of pumps, noun, before a noun, adject, use of such pumps, use of bad pumps, use of what is left, delicacy pumps, affected, affected pumps, ed, verb three can act as an adjective. This is five. Highest level alert, uh, summary posted, classified the more as and we have if used incorrectly in the last one affected pumps one is alert two is used third is summary fourth is classified fifth is affected keep a track of the mistakes you have done i'm pretty much sure people would have made mistakes over here over here over here if that is the case you end up getting two out of five hope you're realizing remember it's not just about practicing there are so many good people around who have you know, developed websites and I've given you a lot to practice. But if you keep practicing in a wrong way, then you end up getting two out of five only, even after three months of practice. What you need is an approach, solid approach. Like this approaches in our course, there are 800 mocks, meaning more than 5,000 to 10,000 questions and approaches already done. Plus every live class will be taken up by me. So you get to learn a lot. I'm telling you, not everybody would need it. But people who are struggling with two out of five, three out of five or four out of five in every question, Probably would need it. All right. So anytime, if you decide to join the course, you can join. It's a paid assistance. We go to the last one. So this question, I will not be showing it here. I would request you all to do it at your own ease. Apply all the things that you can, which you learn from this video. And do leave a comment in the comment section, your answer. My team or myself will definitely leave a comment if it is correct or not and share the correct answer in the first comment of this video. We pin it there probably after three, four days. I really hope I have done justice to the time that you have or I have forced you to spend. If you believe the same, then leave your valuable comments in the comment section. And if you think this two out of five has actually made a difference to, if not five out of five, at least four out of five, then do leave a comment. It would definitely, you know, be a great data for us to understand if we are teaching you the correct way or should we change it or something else. Do leave a comment as to how you felt about the video so that it could contribute in a much better way. All right, so this is Nakul signing off from Skills PT Academic and AKUL. Soon we'll be back. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thanks much.